Hey, we're gonna be testing some face masks we bought on Amazon today. Um, we're gonna do three different tests when we test these face masks. The first one's gonna be for comfort. My wife's actually gonna try them on and see how comfortable they are. And then after that, we're gonna do what's called the uh, Bill Nye candle blow test, where you stand about a foot away from this candle and try to blow it out. And you can get closer and closer if you want. And the better the face mask is as far as resistance to the virus, you shouldn't even see that flame flicker with some of the masks. Some of them you'll actually make the flame flicker, some you can blow it out. Some people actually wear a bandana which you can blow the candle out from a foot away, so a bandana is really not a great idea. The third test we're going to do is a water resistance test just to see if it, the mask treads water or if it absorbs it right away. We're just going to dump some drops of water on it and test the water resistance because the virus spreads from moist droplets in the air also, so water resistance is a pretty important factor. All right, everybody. I'm going to be testing out this soft foot black face mask. This one actually comes with an activated char charcoal. That is not what I was trying to say. Activated carbon filter, excuse me. So. This is one of the face masks we got on Amazon.com. 80% non-woven cotton, looks oh. like. Hmm. It's pretty hard to read it. But Interesting. It's mostly cotton face masks, so. I mean, we did get it from China, so. <laughs> I don't know. What do you expect? So this is going to be your awesome little pocket where you can put in your carbon filter. It is just open on one side, um, whereas some of the face masks that I've seen, they actually have the pocket that is like open on both ends so you can put it in there a lot easier um this one like i said just has the one little pocket so i'm actually going to try this on before i put the filter in there just to kind of see how it feels you can also put a, one of those disposable blue medical face masks in that pocket if you want if you don't have a filter or... yes that is very correct I don't even know. just adds an extra layer of protection it does and this one is unique because you can actually do the little nose pinch because I actually feel like this little, almost like a little wire thing. So that way it'll keep it on your nose and it won't slip off. Comfort wise, I would say probably like a four. I mean, I can still breathe pretty easy like in and out of it and I'm not like sucking in my face mask when I'm trying to breathe in, which is nice because it's not pleasant when you get face masks that you can't breathe out of. And also I was going to say it does come with your handy little adjustable ear straps too. So you can actually make it a little bit tighter if you need to or looser depending. Um, I am going to do the blow, the candle blowing out. <laughs> I'm going to try to without the filter first. Um, so yeah. And I'm supposed to be about a foot away, so let's see how this goes. And I'll try not to run out of air. Okay, I think my eyebrows are still there. So, <laughs> I think we're good. You can get a little closer if you want. Okay. Looks like a really good face mask for the candle blow test. Yes. Alright, we're going to try this a little bit closer. And I really hope that my eyebrows are still going to be there. Okay. No, no, it's not happening. <laughs> so obviously it's going to be even harder to blow the candle out with the charcoal filter yes. at the end, but we can still try it on with the charcoal filter to see if it changes the comfort level at all. The only thing is with carbon. Carbon filter, not charcoal. But anyway, let's try to open one of these. Maybe. And it does seem, yeah, you get three of these carbon filters that come with your masks. We actually only got two masks in this package. The masks are rewashable, but you yes. do have to buy new filters online to replace the filters. Yes. Which is kind of nice that these um, masks actually came with filters. So that's a nice little added bonus because that's one less thing that you would have to buy separately. As you can see, I've never put a filter in here, so it's going to take me just a minute to kind of get it maneuvered in here. Okay. Might be a little bit awkward, but... 
All right, I think I'm getting closer here. All right. All right, so I think I got that in there. So now we're gonna try this with the carbon filter in here. And like, I honestly can't tell the difference having the filter in here versus not having it in there. Um, so I guess that's a nice extra little comfort bonus. Um, Cause yeah, I can't. So it's still the tell. same comfort level? Yeah, I would still go with a four. Um, again, it's still very easy to breathe in and out and I'm not like sucking in the face mask while I'm breathing or anything like that. So yeah, I would still give okay. a four. I think we should take it off and take the filter out and blow through it backwards. Interesting. Just to see how hard it is for air to come in. That's a good idea. So, you can just filters hold it against your out. face if you want. You don't have to put the straps on. And like he said, we're doing it backwards. So, kind of like so. It's going to look pretty silly, probably. And same results. And definitely give it five out of five on the candle blow test. Yes. It's definitely a very safe mask. Yes. So we'll go ahead and switch around and I'll do the water test real quick. Sounds good. This is a test where I just kind of see if water trickles off the mask good. I'm not very fond of these cotton masks as far as water because they do... Ooh, this one's really good. Really? Yeah, the water's definitely not getting inside. Huh. Well, that's good to know. This is a water-resistant mask of some sort. This is one of the best ones I've seen so far. Oops. Sorry for the camera. Yeah, you can see the water's not even getting to the inside of it, so. Wow. The only bad thing about water-resistant masks is sometimes, well, obviously, if it's not getting in, it's not going to get out through that layer, but this inside layer might actually soak some water up, but, which, of course, it does, but you're not going to make the inside of it water resistant. So you can absorb some of your breath and still force it outwards. But uh, that's a really good mask. Uh, I think this is the first mask we've had that's going to earn a 5 out of 5 on all the tests. So this is what the face mask looks like on uh, Amazon.com. Um, we ordered it because it had like 4.5 stars with over 6,600 ratings. Our final score for the mask was a... Uh, only 3.5 with glasses on as far as the glass fog. It was 4 out of 5 for comfort, 5 out of 5 on the candle test, and 5 out of 5 on the water test. This was my favorite mask for the water test. Because if you scroll down here, if you follow my cursor, it actually has a water-resistant weaving technology. So this was my favorite mask overall if you don't wear glasses. But uh, there's not much else to say about it. You've seen the test and the score. So if you're going to get a mask on... Amazon you can always go over to the customer reviews and there's not nobody really has anything bad to say about it so good luck